If you don't know, you better act like you know it's John and Joe. So, I mean, so what most people don't know about this Madden is that, you know, for one thing, you got to grind. Like, grinding is very important. People don't understand that, you know, they think you just have to spend money. Like, no, Madden, well, you're still at a huge advantage to people who spend money, but there are great ways to make oh, that auction expired. Yeah, I know how to snipe. That, that was something completely different. Anyways, <laughs> there are great ways to make coins on this game without without spending money. And first of all, if you haven't done your solos, don't complain about not having coins. Because you get great cards and plenty of coins by grinding through the solos. But a lot of people think the solos are hard because they tell you things like make your team go to you know cardinals tier four that means you need to have 12 out of your 22 players need to be cardinals players need to have cardinals chemistry nobody wants to play with that team to start with but this is what you do you go to death chart and you go to auto reorder at the bottom you pick auto reorder you pick yes and it will automatically sub in your better players as your starters. Now I noticed that because last play that I just showed, you know, the guy threw it right over my line break. I'm like, hey, why would not a pick? I'm like, oh, that's because the guy I got in there is a Patriots guy. I'm in the Patriots team leader solo challenges. And the guy's like a 62 overall. So I'm like, of course he just let the ball go right over his head. I switched out to all, to my my players. Now all of a sudden, we're running after the quarterback. It's not even close. Like, yeah, nowhere to throw it to. The receiver threw it to immediately. Got a hit. You know what I mean? Pretty self-explanatory. But you know, you just have to have your chemistry set up. Yeah, that play would have worked on me anyways. I didn't have anybody down in the flat and quarterback scramble. You don't expect Josh McCown to scramble, but you know, oh well. But I mean, it was just a solo challenge. I mean, I knew I could force a fumble, get an interception whenever I wanted to, so I kind of just got everybody in a 4-4 cover three, just sitting back, just waiting on a, you know, quarterback fumble from a sack, or for him to just throw it to me, so just let him have whatever yards he wants to have, but the point of the video is, you go to depth chart, you pause it, you go to depth chart, you click auto reorder, and you put in, it'll automatically put in your third and fourth string players who have, you know, 85, 86, whatever, you know, depending on how good your team is. But, if you don't tamper with it on the team screen before you go into it, You'll have, you know, you won't have it set up to where how you had it before, where you where you had like, you know, I got Ed Tutal Jones at defensive end. I normally let him play defensive tackle, and I have Reggie White on defensive end. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not worried about them scoring or anything. Of course, my guy, you know, caught it, ran out of bounds for freaking safety. You know, you can't help that though. It's better than the seven points they would have had. But, um, you auto reorder it, and it'll, you know, it won't set it back to the way you had it before, obviously, because, you know, you have to set your lineup a certain way. See, automatic fumble anytime in history for the most part. So, but it will put in, it'll put players in the starting lineup by overall. So, what you do is, from the original lineup roster screen, from the original depth chart screen, you put in all of your, you go to tier four of whatever it is that you want to be on, and then you make sure that your second stream players, first you go generate best lineup. Then after generate best team lineup, you put in generate you know, activate tier four of whatever the challenge is asking for, you know, so tier four Patriots. Then when you finally get into the game, you sub it down to 
auto reorder depth chart. And that's all you need to know. If this has helped you out, hit like, subscribe, Joan and Joe. You better act like you know. Twitter, YouTube. Thanks, guys.